Hey guys, it's sp 2 boys 10 here, back with a new video. Now today I am playing Risk of Rain 2. Now the last two times I've played this game, it's during streams. One stream I just played it, just to play it, and the second stream I kept playing it until I died. Now, this one is gonna, but this one isn't a stream, it's a little something different. Now, today, Risk of Rain updated. And it's completely different. There is no cursor on the menu or nothing. And the logbook is completely different. There's new items, there's new bosses, there's new characters, there's new worlds, there's new everything. Even this loadout right here is completely different. And there's also an another character right here. Stabilize a cell in the void fields. Which, I don't know how to do that. I know how to do this one. But I don't know how to do the other one. But since this game updated like crazy, I thought I'd play it again. I don't know how to change the difficulty. Oh, there we go. Did it just switch back? I pressed the square and it switched back to the first one. Alright, if you want me to do it easy, I'll do it easy. It's just a showcase to show the new update. Now, besides the menu changing, it does seem that it says on the bottom right to open up the inventory or to sprint. I don't think it showed that before. Oh, and there's a no, there's a new UI to actually show the aiming. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's really cool. Ow. Look at that. that was, that's really cool. Now, since I've streamed this game before, um, some of you may already know about this game, and the people that don't, and just watch my pre-recorded videos because they're shorter, um, this is Risk of Rain 2. It is a roguelike game where you continuously go through every single stage trying to buy some items, see what you get, buy random items, see what you get. Um, there's certain missions you do to get more items or unlock them and unlock new characters. And there's also log books to, t to hear about the information about certain items or the certain world. Yeah, it's a roguelike. I love roguelikes, and I love playing this game. I've played it a few times, and I'm happy to come back into it. And this time, it's not for a stream. Okay, <clears throat> now that I basically told the whole synopsis of the game, pretty much, let's just enjoy the game for what it is. There's also these turrets that you can buy. There was a healing one back at the beginning, and I just bought a gunner one. Let me get the healing one real quick. Here it is. It heals me or the other drones, which is pretty good. The main problem with the turrets is that they can get stuck frequently. So watch out for that. Another thing about this game is that you cannot stay in the same level for too long. As you can see on the top right, the difficulty increases. And eventually, the game will be too hard to be able to pass by with just the items you have. So you just gotta constantly move, get as many items and drones if you want drones. Get as many of those as you can, and then move on with the boss. Which, there's a teleporter somewhere, and each teleporter usually spawns a boss. This one, 3D printer, I can sacrifice an item for more speed. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe I want to do that, hopefully I get the bomb one. Yes. I don't really want the bomb one all too much. It's not the worst item, I just don't want want it. I, I like moving faster because this character, as awesome as he is, and he has an auto-aim, at the same time he, uh, you know, has less health. So that's bad. There's also Omega enemies like this, I think that worth, that's what they're called. Um, enemies like that have special elemental powers. And they're usually stronger than the other enemies. But they do give a lot of coins and XP, so that's good. I think I pretty much said what this whole game is about. I'm gonna stop explaining things <laughs> and actually play the dang game. Um, that enemy is stuck. 
Uh, you hate to see it. Ooh, a green. Critical strikes heal you. Sweet. Aw, oh, well, that's... Why did I do that dumb thing that I did? Come on. I'm glad I had these, I have these healing drones to help me out. Alright, I think I'm all set to do the boss. I don't know if I got all the secrets, but if I didn't, that's fine. I just want to move on before it gets too hard in the future levels. Something about this game, once as when this update came out, something about it just seems smoother. It just seems better in its own way. I'm glad I got that uh, the speed boost, because if I didn't, that laser would have gotten me. But it, this game just seems like it's better <clears throat> graphics-wise. I don't know if, whether it's the enemies, the bosses, whether it's the fact that I'm not streaming at this time. I don't know. There we go. Every time you defeat a boss, it gives you an item, which is good. If you're on multiplayer, it gives you one item per player, which is also really good. Helps balance things so that people won't be like, hey, I want this. Something about the UI and the menu just seems closer to the center of the screen than it should be. Every single thing should be like on the edge of the, my sc screen, which is weird why it's not. Maybe the new update changed it and I have to change it back. And also, again, for those who haven't played this game, the coins don't transfer over to the next level. Once you go through the teleporter, it transfers the coins to XP. And then you have to get brand new coins in the next level. Hey, sprint faster. Awesome. I, I've, do, I've been doing nothing but sprinting anyways. I love roguelikes. I don't know if that's obvious or not. I know I've mentioned this in previous streams, but I absolutely love roguelikes. I think I purchased like four or five roguelike games on my Switch. I mean, they were really cheap games, but they're still roguelikes. And I also know that there's a lot more roguelikes that I have yet to discover and or buy. And I'm going to get them one day. But roguelikes are one of my favorite different types of... Ooh! Regenerate health after giving an enemy. That's really good. But yeah, they're like one of my favorite types of games because every single time you play the game, it's always different. The items are in different places, although like for the majority of the time, it's the same world. Ooh. Um, the majority of the time is the same world, but it's different things every time. For certain games, it's not the same world. For different, for some games, you have completely different worlds every time. Like, randomly generated worlds, not just items. Shoot! I was hoping to get one of, uh, one. I took a chance, and I got nothing. I do like that. Um... Oh, finally got one, sweet. And I could sprint even faster, awesome. But I do like that reticle. Is that what they call it? The lock-on sensor UI thing that's going on the enemies? I think that's what it's called. Ooh, this one's a healing one. Hey, and it's a... Ooh, I love this one. Killing an enemy permanently increases your health up to 100. I love this item. Especially for a character like this where his health is somewhat low. It's really, really useful. Come on. Yeah. I can get a maximum of two things from those shrines. I don't really like the item that I got, though, because the item that I got is good for close range, and this character is not a close range. Wow. That was a lot of damage. Nope, get out of here, Fizz Phil Swift. I don't want any of your... Advertisements. Get your flex seal and take it somewhere else. Hopefully I get some of the items that were in the update. I don't want to keep getting items that I already know about. I wanted to play this to try out the new items that came out. I know there's a white one or a green one. One of the two that came out. And there's also a blue one I think came out. And I think also a red. I'll have to check if I die. Alright, let's go. Defeat the boss. Oh, it's the same boss? Alright. There's like four to five different bosses, I think, in this game. And apparently I just got the same one twice. 
That's fine. I have speed so I can dodge his attack. He dead now. I just gotta wait till this teleporter's at a hundred. The good thing about uh, the teleporter is that you can run around the map and see the items you haven't picked up. Like the one right here. Boop. Hey, my health is at 420. Aw. Yeah, something about the graphics definitely does seem more smoother and more graphically impressive. Something, I don't know what, but like, it just looks better than what it did last time I played the game. Which was like, I don't know, a couple month or two ago I'm not complaining I like the visuals it looks and how smooth the ground is now I like it I'm maybe even just going crazy either or people do say I go crazy sometimes so I guess I guess it fits ooh yes the rock if the fireworks I said rockets and I it's fireworks rockets kind of the same thing these big boys right here give a guaranteed green or better, so I'm gonna save up for that. Ah, oh, shoot. I hate these mini gun guys. They can obliterate your health if you're not careful. But I was careful. Ooh, a red one. Reduces cooldowns for your skills. Oh, yes, that's exactly what I want. That one's good. What? Ow. Is this a... Oh, this is an ability one that gives me a guaranteed ability. I like this one. This one uh, calls down a lightning strike on a targeted monster. It has a really low cooldown, and it does a lot of damage, but it only attacks one person. So, it'll be really good for the bosses. I mean, look at that. Who doesn't want to feel like Thor for 10 seconds? Ooh, one of these. I'm gonna sacrifice one of my Luna coins for it. Hopefully it's a good one. Shaped glass. That halves my health, but doubles my damage. I don't know if I want to do that. Do I want to do that? I don't want to do that. Do I? Do I, though? I mean, like, seriously? I mean, truly? I mean, like, honestly? Do I want to? No. Fine, I'll do it. Calm down. Ooh, these rusted keys are pretty useful. These rusted keys gain access to a rusty lockbox that contains treasure. The treasure is pretty hard to find, but it is still good to get it, because that's an extra item. And plus, the more keys, the higher the chance of a better item. So that's good. Come at me. Woo! I'm obliterating through these enemies. I'm kind of glad I got the shaped glass. I say that now, and then I'll probably die like 10 seconds later. Um, <gasps> ooh, wait, ooh. I wanted I wanted the other one, but this one I've never seen before. There's a fan of buzzing saws that comes back to you. Oh. The other one, the other item was like the most OP item in the game. Or at least I think so. It's one of the strongest. So it, I kind of regret not getting that one instead, but I've never used this one before, so I kind of want to see what it does. Also... This one is a gold. This one invites me to a gold world to fight a secret boss. Let me, just, let me see it. Oh my gosh, that's mighty. That's so cool. I don't care if the other one was super powerful and it's probably going to help me if I actually wanted to defeat the boss. This one's cool. Show me the money. Yeah. Okay, show me two times the money. Yeah, oh, I mean, it's a close close encounters one, which is not really that good, but at least it gave it to me. Am I going to do it? Altar of gold? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. That's pretty dumb of me to do, but I did it. Now I'm going to have to defeat the really hard secret boss in this game. I mean, he's not super hard. I defeated him before, but he's hard enough to where I'll probably die if I since I have shade glass. But you never know. This, uh, it depends on how much damage the saw does. Receive flat damage reduction from all attacks. I'm sorry, what? I've never gotten that item before. So I don't know what that means, but I'm glad I got it. I'm guessing it's a good thing. 
gotta defeat the boss. A regular boss first, and then the... Oh! Here comes a new enemy. Oh, I missed that attack, didn't I? Shoot. Ooh! That dodge, though. But I missed my special move because it was caught on one of those... One of these flower pot things. And he's dead! He's out for the count. Ooh. So, uh, almost am I. Two. I can't speak. I can't words English good. Hey, dealing damage heals you. That would have been pretty useful. Like, ten seconds ago. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to go into the gold portal and defeat the pretty hard secret boss. I'm probably gonna die. But I'm gonna try my best. Hello, everybody. Oh, I forgot I have to buy my way to break those things. Oh, shoot. Here's the boss. I mean, he's not too hard. He's just like a stone golem, but like much more damagey and golden. I have to defeat more of his shields before I can actually do damage to him. Or not his shields, his uh, towers. Oh, he can finally take some damage. Oh, hoo, 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 yeah. Oh, shoot. Bang! Oh! That damage, though. That saw is useful. Slice, slice. Woo! Blackout. Hey! I got the blackout trophy without even trying. And now I unlocked a new item, which I'll have to check and see what that is. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Yes, summon the boss during a teleporter event. I'm gonna have two bosses fight it out. That's always a good way to live life. Alright, stage four. Oh, this stage also has a secret boss. Should I go for him? I mean, I'm already pushing my luck, so I don't know if I should. There's also an equipment drone there. I can give him this, uh, this chain, uh, this saw. Which would be nice, but, like, no. <laughs> I like the saw. I'm the saw boy. Um. Okay. Oh, I got the shield. That's fine. <laughs> That's kind of like a slot machine of items. I hate this boss. Once I get for since I'm at impossible difficulty right now, um, the game is gonna start spawning bosses for me to just fight. Without even using the teleporter. So that's fun. And the magma cube just showed up, which is, or magma worm, which is a giant pain. One of my least favorite. Mainly because, like, they hide in the ground. And they go all over the place. And it's, like, hard to aim. Good thing I have a, a auto aim. Or else it'll take me forever to defeat those guys. I don't want to sacrifice my equipment. This is the second drone I found. I'm not gonna do it, game. You can't make me. Ooh, this one's good. It holds an, uh, an additional equipment charge, so I can use the saw twice. Alright. Unless you give me the most OP power. Nah. You see, that's just a bag that reduces... ...status effects. I don't need that. I have a saw in my hand. A saw is way better than a bag. I mean, if I could put the bag in the saw... ...or the saw in the bag. That actually makes more sense. I don't know why he said the other way. It completely ignore me. I said complete gibberish. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. The secret boss spawned. Ah, oh, that's great. <laughs> that's cool. I do love secret bosses. To just spawn. It's decent damage off of him already though. That's good. He's pretty low. He's almost dead. If I play my cards right, he's going to be dead pretty quickly. Well, not any if he pops up that shield like that. That's kind of rude. 
Can you let me kill you without you trying to stay alive? Guess not. And you're dead! Ooh. And you're dead. Give me that red item. Ex add extra two charges to utility skill. Oh, sweet. Now I have more dashes, even though I hardly use it. <laughs> Alright. Time to go hardcore with this boss. If I could defeat two secret bosses, I can defeat the actual... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. They spawned two of them. I forgot they do that. Ooh, the other one's dead, though. I love this saw. <laughs> now that I got two of them, I can do six saws at once. And that definitely obliterated their health. Oh, there's a thing here that I missed. And one right here that I missed. Alright, I'll have to get that. Oh, oh, watch out, watch out. This explosion can take off most of my health. Ooh. And he did. No problemo. It sucks that when they spawn more bosses, they don't also spawn more items when you defeat them. But that's fine. And I'm so glad I had this boss with me. He is obliterating. Hey, it's all done. Alright, let me get those things that I missed and get out of here. Ooh, a red. Another red. Fire haunting skulls when healed. Sweet. And considering I... Oh, drop healing orb on... Kill. Oh, sweet. Double sweet. Those items can be paired together. And also, I heal every time I kill an enemy or even attack an enemy, so... There's gonna be those haunting things like crazy. Sky Meadow. Ooh, I've never been here. This is interesting. Whoa. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. I like this place. I don't like this hard enemy, though. I don't really like that too much. Holy crap. Wow. Oh my. Oh. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Wow. Alright, well, of course, the first time I experience the new world, I die almost instantly. I tried to kill those enemies. They were really hard. I was only on level 5. They shouldn't have been that hard. Dang. I was doing so well, too. I had so many good items. That's like me. Even in the streams, when I had good items, I still died really fast. That just shows that this game is really hard. Even if you get one of the best items in the game, or really cool items, you could still die really fast. But this, this is awesome. Look at this. I love it. Okay, well... That's a good showcase of the... <laughs> I mean, it's not really a good showcase of the new update, considering I died. <laughs> but... It's still cool. I still like the update. I still like how it adapted to the fact that it's on a console. But yeah. I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. If you sneeze in this video, bless you. If you had a bad day, I hope this did you up in some way. And yeah, see ya.